Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special collaboration video for you as this is the first collaboration that I've actually been able to swap art with another YouTube creator. I'm really excited to be doing this challenge with Liron and uh, he is over in France right now. I believe he's from Israel but in France at the moment and uh, he is mostly an outdoor like urban sketcher and uh, he has a wonderful YouTube channel that I will link both up here and in the description below. He has published a couple of art books and he has online drawing classes and um, we first got kind of talking when he sent me a very sweet email um, just talking about how much my work had inspired him and that was just so kind. I wrote him back and said that I liked his channel as well and uh, would he like to do a collaboration. So it's been a little bit of time in the making as we had to both draw our artwork for each other and then ship it internationally which um, he got mine pretty quickly but it took me a little bit longer to receive his. And then, um, I think you all know this about me, that I'm a pretty impatient person. I like instant gratification, so not opening this before now has been very difficult. I had a very busy schedule this month, and so I wanted to make sure that I opened this on camera, and uh, as you can see, I haven't opened it. It's uh, just totally sealed up. <laughs> um, so I am so, so excited to see what's in here. So what we decided to do is we wanted to do line art swaps for each other in terms of sketching. So he's an urban outdoor sketcher and um, you know I do primarily wildlife but I've been trying to do more plein air stuff lately. Um, I took a trip to the Monterey Bay Aquarium earlier this month. I think it was this month. <laughs> last month? It must have been last month because we had to swap and all that stuff. But anyway. Um, and I ended up drawing him a seahorse from one of their exhibits. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that footage in here so you can see uh, what that process was like. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of that clip. I am so excited to see what Liron does. We have not shared any pictures with each other. We have wanted this to be a surprise, so I am super anxious to go check out his video, which again, I will link in the description below so that you can follow that after you watch this video and see what he was able to do. Now I'm hoping that this drawing is still intact. There is, I don't know if you can see that, there's a crease in the middle of the package, so I'm hoping that they didn't fold it up. It's not too, too bendy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this open. All right, everyone, I had to adjust my color balance there for a second just so that this would show up properly. I got this little note from Liron just saying that he was excited to uh, swap paintings and do this collaboration. So this is the drawing he sent, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's on a nice watercolor, I assume this is sketchbook paper, it has the circles on the side here. And um, I'm just so in awe of people who can draw like this because I definitely do not specialize in drawing urban scenes or buildings. I am more of an organic uh, creature type drawer, obviously, as you guys know. Um, and this is just, it's so beautiful and there's so much detail in like all the windows and the railings. Now, neither of us have reference photos to work off of, so we have the sketches only, and that means I have to use a bit of my imagination to be able to fill in the colors. And um, I have a sense that the light is coming from this direction, as he has a couple of shadows in here and a couple, I think these are cast shadows, I'm not really sure um, if they're... 
I, I think they're cast shadows in it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not too off there. And so I'm gonna have my light source coming from over here and shining down onto the page. I am gonna look up a couple of photos on my phone so I can get kind of some color palette references. The buildings in Europe are so different than they are here in the States. So um, I know that they have more muted color palettes and all this beautiful architecture. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those photos to try and help inspire me paint this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to a little bit of a time lapse here and I will see you on the other side.
Alright everyone, well here is my little finished sketch and I have to say this was so much fun. Um, it was really therapeutic. I watch a lot of Tia's videos and Leron's videos and I know that I'm not an expert in you know doing buildings and that there are some definite flaws in this one but it was just so like relaxing and calming to like go through everything that was already all drawn in and then just put some color over it and Leron if you ever come out with like a coloring book of your urban sketch drawings I would be all for that so thank you so much for doing this uh, collaboration with me I hope that you enjoyed your seahorse I can't wait to see it myself um, and yeah I just I thought it was such a fun experience so I hope everyone out there watching enjoyed this as well. Go ahead and check out Leron's channel, and uh, we will both see you next time.